Hey y'all and welcome to Politibrawl. My name is Brian and Tom Homan tells Debbie Wasserman Schultz to her face that she's essentially nothing more than a clown. Mr. Chairman, um, before I uh, ask my questions, um, since it has not yet been done, I, I, I think it's important to really make sure that the jingoistic, bigoted testimony of Mr. Homan is called out as nearly completely untrue, as being an outrage, and as a former official directing the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency, he should know better. Uh, so, M Mr. making Chairman, sure that I am... Mr. Chairman... No, no, this is my five minutes. Well, the board, point the one, board what, what, what did I, I, I say concerned. was inaccurate? I, I, excuse uh, me. Okay, I'm not it's, asking a question. Okay, the, the gentlelady is recognized for five minutes. She's made her point, and I will try to resolve any other issues at the end of her questioning. Okay. Thank you. So, I just think it's important that it's not accepted as accurate testimony. Okay, Mr. Holman, is there a crisis on the border? Of course. And has there been a crisis there for a long time? Yes. I just want to get, because your, your testimony was at the broader issue, and I, I'm, we, we, this is critically important, but we also have a broader issue there. We got unbelievable numbers we've seen on the border with apprehensions and everything else, right? Absolutely, if I can respond to the earlier remark from uh, Washington Schultz. Wait, wait, hold it, hold it. Look at the chick that's dressed up in the pride flag. Uh, she, she's sitting there and shaking her head at Tom Holman's testimony. How can she sit there? She's clearly smart enough to get into a congressional hearing, but how can she sit there and deny the truth that is happening in front of our very eyes? How can she possibly do this? And this lady right here is walking proof that liberalism is a mental disorder. I forgot more about this issue than you ever know. So if you say my testimony is inaccurate, it's wrong. Everything I said here is accurate. Bottom line, if you want to go toe to toe, I'm here. I'm here in my own time to speak to the American people about what's false I'm sure and what's happy fact. to go toe to toe I mean, with you, Mr. Homan. Well, I'm, happy I'm to here. Do that any day. But you got to let me respond to your question rather than I dropping a bomb a and running away. Man, someone, someone get me some ibuprofen. It, it is an absolute headache to listen to the Democrats sit there and defame Tom Homan, who was one of the last real shields down at the border. And of course, Biden would never allow him back into office. And to sit there lie about the problem. I, I have to wonder, do people like Debbie Wasserman Schultz look themselves in the mirror and just practice lying so they know what it looks like? Because you know what? If they admitted the truth, that there is a crisis at the border and it kept on getting worse during the Biden administration and it was not this way under the Trump administration. So if they were to sit there and go, you know what? We have a problem because Democrats in Chicago, Democrats in New York City, they're admitting that there's a problem. They're people in those towns, particularly black voters, who know there's a problem. And they sit there and they have to lie to themselves because the moment they admit that the problem is real and they are the ones causing it, or at least the ones allowing it to happen, is the moment they get kicked out of power. It's the moment they lose their jobs. So they have no choice other than to lie. And I pity the Democrat Party for that. That is a terrible position to be in. And at that point, there's nothing you can do but give them a hug, say bless your heart, and then hope that, you know, they one day come to their senses. But as Ann Coulter once said, if Democrats had any brains, they'd be Republicans. Folks, my name is Brian. Hope you enjoyed this segment here on Politibrawl. Catch you on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, y'all have a good one.